Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. We are your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus. And Ushamut Zide Pinkavichin. We've been mastering secrets of organ playing for more than 20 years and sharing them on this blog since 2011. On this show, which we create from our home in Vilnius, Lithuania, we strive to help you grow in every area of organ playing, including practice, technique, repertoire, sight reading, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory, harmony, and many others. Our hope is to help you become a complete musician, or what we call as total organist, a program which we have created to help you reach your dreams faster than you would do on your own. If you are new here, we invite you to subscribe to receive free updates of this blog at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video on how to master any organ composition and 10-day organ playing mini chords. And now let's go to the podcast for today. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Usha. Let's start episode 448 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by Christiana. And Christiana writes, uh, My dream for organ playing is to be able to play at very le- at very least hymns and sight read intermediate organ music. The three inhibitors at the moment, I think, would be 1. Lack of a teacher 2. Having to drive 15 minutes to play on an organ and having to deal with the fact that it's not available on weekends 3. None of the music stores in my area carry any sort of organ method or scale book I think that might help at first as I work on figuring out the foot pedals and stops even though my organ only has four stops for each manual. So Christiana wants to be reasonably good at intermediate organ music and playing hymns. That's that's a very decent goal, I think. Yes, for church organists it is. And I think her problems or challenges can be overcome, right? Lack of teacher. What, well, do, what would you suggest? <laughs> Nowadays there are so many, you know, <laughs> sources on the internet. And isn't that the reason why we started our uh, podcast and blog and training sure, courses? Sure. I, I think you can find enough of material in, you know, our resources that would help, you know, for you to become at least an intermediate organist. Yeah, no doubt about that. And, of course, this question that um, Christiana is answering is sent to her after two weeks, about about two weeks of um, being here on in our community. So she's kind of new. She needs mm-hmm. to explore sure. a little bit more what's available, what free materials are available, what courses are available. And definitely she will find something for her. The second, obviously, the challenge is with the organ itself. But she only has to drive 15 minutes. Do you consider 15 minutes it's a long way to find an organ to practice? Uh, I, I find it's, you know, a funny distance, 15 minutes. 15 minutes, it's it's reasonable distance. Uh, if... If, for example, you're living in a in a city, then it's really not that far. It's like going to a gym, basically, right? Well, it takes us longer to go to a gym from the place where we live. And it takes longer for us to go to the church from Definitely. where we live. So I think nowadays, you know, when people are driving, you know, long, really long distances, for example, to work. Mm-hmm. Every day, 15 minutes doesn't seem a long time. And if you don't want to waste you know, those 15 minutes, you may you know, listen to some useful stuff. For example? While you're driving. Well, you can learn languages. Or listen to Maltese music. Well, <laughs> yes. I need to tell the, the background of this joke. For people to understand, when I went to Malta to play there for 200 um, tourists from 
from from Paris La Figaro um, a, a newspaper uh, I saw one person playing a mandolin uh, in 60 languages and and I asked uh, for him to play to play something and sing something in Lithuanian and he did one hour well most well known songs and obviously I bought a CD from him with his music uh, Maltese music um, where he played mandolin so that's the origin of this joke obviously you could uh, listen to books on tape or podcasts or uh, as Osha says organ music but anyway 15 minutes you know of drive it's not a long distance I wouldn't you know consider it's a problem a little bit of a problem would be if she cannot practice on that organ on weekends right the church is the organ is not available she says so on those weekends maybe practicing at home on the table would help if she doesn't have any other instrument you know like keyboard what else true that might help Definitely. Because, you know, I think if you know you have a goal, and if it's important for you to reach that goal, you will always find, you know, possibilities to do it. And if you don't, maybe that that goal wasn't so important for you. And if it's important to you, maybe um, with time start, start saving some money, investing some money for a keyboard, for a keyboard to have at home. True. Mm-hmm. Number three would be none of the music stores in, in my area carry any sort of organ method. Which is also related to the first question, lack of teacher. And True, but today, I mean, if she can use the internet, it means that she can you know, order things online. Obviously, yes. And, you know, there are so many things that you can get on there internet Mm -hmm. and uh, if she just looked around we have so so many courses and uh, practice course with fingering and pedaling it's a good starting point I think I guess nowadays it's not so hard to find you know information that you need material that you need as I think it's uh, hard to decide which one to to buy Oh, it's called um, information overload. That's what I think is you know, more common nowadays. When you have 50 sources to compare and you don't know which one is better, then you basically st- are stuck and freeze in your mind. I think the best way to start is wherever you are, whatever is in front of you. It might not be the the best method or the the most comprehensive method that you you know uh, wish for but uh, it's it's a good starting point and it will lead you someplace and after you reach that goal intermediate goal you can go to to the next level sure do you think the him playing course would be helpful for her from our teaching materials Yes, we have those um, him playing workshop um, videos and and uh, and him scores in that. So yes, it will give her foundation on how to to master those hymns. And after those videos, she will have the knowledge to apply it to any other hymn, which is good. And because it has videos, so it sort of replaces the real teacher. Yes, uh, the real teacher would would also um, be maybe more strict with her, right? Uh, give external motivation because she would be maybe um, embarrassed to to show up unprepared. With videos in our courses, there is there is a different motivation, which is basically inner motivation. That's what we value the most. Right, Osha? True. And I think that inner motivation is the most important because, <laughs> look, 
even if you know you go to college or university, you know, to or academy of music or conservatory, you know, to study music, your studies won't last forever. Exactly. Eventually, you will graduate, you know, from from the institution, and you will be left on your own. So if you won't have that inner motivation, then what can you do? You will stop practicing. Mm-hmm. And we are seeing people quitting playing after a while because they lack motivation. So I think it's good to find some sort of external motivation in the form of um, performance opportunities, public performance opportunities, maybe in the same church that she she could practice, she could give public performances during services maybe, uh, preludes, postludes, communions, offertories. Mm, or if she is really good later on, she could uh, prepare a post-service appearance. And Christiana also says that her organ is not, you know, probably where she practices is not large one. He has you know, two manuals, uh, each has four stops. I think it's a reasonable size organ, you know, for practicing. It's more than enough, I think, to, to become an intermediate organist. We have two stops at our home organ. Yes. True. That's enough, I think. Whatever more you you need, you can pretend you have. If you need a swell box, you can pretend you're using it with your right foot. If you need toe, toe pistons and studs, uh, you can pretend you're pushing them. Right. Thank you guys for those wonderful questions. Keep sending them. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice... Miracles happen. This blog is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online, where you will find courses for every area of organ playing, including technique, practice, sight reading, repertoire playing, hymn playing, improvisation, composition, music theory and harmony, with hundreds of scores and thousands of exercises. Here is what some of the students are saying. Hugh writes, the sight reading course has helped me tremendously. Thank you very much for your essays, courses and all your help. Robert writes, I found the fingerings, registration ideas and general comments to be excellent. John writes, I have found your download very helpful. It was really excellent. I have watched some of your teaching videos and when I read your instructions. I try to imagine you are there teaching me. You may feel disappointed that I am two, three days behind, but I am a slow learner and I have committed to taking the time to get it right as you say. But the other night my wife commented that she had never heard me play such a detailed melody in the left hand so well. My left hand is generally poor. Robert writes, It has been a great pleasure in my life of having discovered your courses and material as well as the YouTube work of recordings. You have a calm and pleasant way of teaching. Ron writes, Hi Vida Santosha, thank you guys. What a wonderful response to my email note to you. You've got me right, and I feel you understand my level of playing. Yes, at home and lucky that I have an organ for that reason. I am paying attention to this, and I am going to try this haha no longer secret model. Yes, and I love Caesar Frank too. What is very nice about your blog podcast is that Osha and Vidas are like a Socratic dialogue, and by bouncing things off of each other, so much more information comes out and is expressed. Your comments contain a wealth of information and understanding. I really appreciate this. It is very inspiring and will keep us moving forward. Would you like to receive the same or even better results that our students are getting? If so, join them at organduo.lt slash total dash organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to receive free updates of this blog, make sure you do that at organduo.lt. By subscribing, you will also receive free video how to master any organ composition and... 10 day organ playing mini course. This was Vidas and Osha. 
from secrets of organ playing. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen.